Okay, these are the condensing units. We've got three systems for the house. All three of them are identical. All three of them are about as old as the house. So they're all three about nine years old. This equipment was engineered on paper to last 20 years. It might last 35. Las Vegas is going to give you 14. In practical terms, in this part of the country, this equipment is basically done two-thirds of what anybody expected it to do. It could break tomorrow, but you should expect a little more life from these. Uh, we want to service them because all three of these units, these are three five-ton systems. All three of these units have R410A refrigerant. R410A refrigerant. No longer manufactured in the United States. No longer imported legally into the United States. And um, so because the refrigerant, and they've got plenty of stockpiles of it to go for a couple more years. There's not going to be any fear of it running out. As the supply diminishes, the cost will increase. They no longer make parts involving R22 refrigerant. So those valves in there, if they go out, you might not be able to replace them. Probably not. These coils you will not be able to replace. The condensing unit, the compressor, you will not be able to replace. And some other metering devices and the evaporator coils. So you want to service it so that these parts don't break. So, but anyway, you've got three systems, and uh, they're both used for 16 amps. All three of these systems have the right type of Schrader valve covers. Look that up in the dictionary. I bet you won't find it, but they do. The right type of Schrader valve covers, and but the refrigerant piping. In 2015, when this house was built, this refrigerant insulation was did not meet the Environmental Protection Agency's requirements. See how it tears and stuff? We need something more robust, something that can do a better job than that. Just painting this won't do it either. Um, but that was a rule, that was a law that was in effect at the time of construction. Also, the middle and the north units, all three of them are too close to the house. It should be 12 inches behind a block compressor to allow air to circulate so that they operate efficiently. These two, okay, they're not level. And not being level means that when they're off, the oil settles in the bottom of the compressor. It's a scroll compressor. And, it's, uh, and so when it kicks up, the oil is not level at the bottom. And so it might not be lubricated efficiently, which would also contribute to the death of the system. So they should be level. Also, these, these two units, not the south unit, closest to the front of the house, but the closest to the back of the house in the middle unit. These two units, okay, they're supposed to be elevated a minimum. All of them are, but these are not. Elevated a minimum of three inches above grade. So these have not been picked up like they're supposed to. Our disconnects are not supposed to be located behind our units, and they should be sealed on three sides to help prevent moisture from getting inside the wall system. And I've opened up all three of these and took in still images so we can see if they're laced up right. I'm supposed to do that. I did that. I did that.